Good morning everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the Baron Digital TV Receiver. Very similar to the TV Plus, the Affordable Box and the various other DTV receivers out there. So what do you get? Obviously you get the receiver itself. You get a 5 volt power adapter. That's important to know because most other boxes are using 12 volts. And if you plug 12 volts into this, it will break. So make sure you use the included power supply. You get your AV cable. I'm not sure how many people are going to use this nowadays because most people are using HDMI. You get your antenna. Of course, this is magnetic, so you can stick it to a window frame or maybe your aircon or something like that. Very long cables. So you can get it in a good position to receive a clear signal. And depending on the version you buy, this one is with Wi-Fi dongle that's right it actually includes a little Wi-Fi dongle and then you can watch YouTube so that's one of the key features of this that you can actually watch YouTube now this box I am borrowing I asked Baron hey can I borrow it I'm gonna give it back to them once I've shot this video so a lot of people testing this and I wanted to try it myself the only thing is I'm going to use a HDMI cable to connect it to the TV this is not included in the box but I already have one of these now I'm not going to spend any time showing you how to set this thing up because it's very obvious. It pretty much just does it by itself. Of course, one of the big benefits of digital TV is that we have so many channels. Look at them all compared to analog TV where you just have, you know, a handful of channels. And here we have one of the channels from Department of Education, DepEd. Now, even though our Baron box is connected to the TV at 1080 using HDMI, you can see the quality is still kind of potato if you compare it to say YouTube or Netflix because the broadcast itself, it's not in 1080 HD. Let's try one of the PTV HD channels, hopefully. Oh, looks like we're having difficulties. Let me try move the antenna. Okay, so I moved the antenna outside and look, it's working fine now. And that is a lot better quality. It's still not comparable with YouTube or Netflix, but 100% it's so much better than any analog TV could give you. It's making me dizzy with all of these cuts. Now you might be wondering, why don't all the channels just broadcast in HD? Well, they have limited frequencies. So what they do is they stuff in as many channels as they can within that frequency range. But because of that, they have to lower the quality. So that's why they're broadcasting in potato quality instead of HD like this PTV channel. Okay, I think that's enough about the regular digital TV part of it because everybody knows what that's about. Oh, this is funny. This is a, an ad for a competing box. Anyway, we're going to test out the YouTube feature because that's one of the unique features of this box. Now you cannot plug a keyboard into this. So you're going to be using the remote control and the on screen keyboard which is a little bit slow but it does work so let's try and find some of my content and there you go it's loading the thumbnails to my videos now now unfortunately while there is a section on the left for favorites I haven't found a way to actually add my own favorites or my own keywords that I want to save so I'm not sure about that but let's open this video and there you go it's streaming using my home Wi-Fi connection right now I would guess this is maybe 480 720 maximum but if we go to the settings we can actually change the resolution HD full HD low standard unfortunately when I try and do full HD it says unsupported so I'm not sure what that's about but you can see here it gives us some information 30 frames per second how long the video is oops where did that go it also tells us the bit rate and I believe they are planning to do improvements to this over time firmware improvements so hopefully we'll be able to get the full HD soon so that's really one of the big selling points of this box that if you already have a home Wi-Fi internet connection you can buy the dongle and then connect it to your network and watch YouTube. Now this USB port on the front can be used to charge your cell phone although it's going to be pretty slow because it only charges at one or two watts so while it technically can charge your phone it's going to be a little bit slow. The other option for this USB port is that you plug in a USB memory stick and then you play back videos, movies, TV shows that you've downloaded and this is how it looks when you insert a USB. These are actually video files from my camera. Let's try open one. 
and there you go it's actually playing back at full hd 1920 by 1080 so when you play back from usb you get the full resolution of course you can go forward back pause everything like that so i think a lot of people would use this because you know they download movies and things like that put it on a usb stick and then watch it on your tv of course legal services now another great thing about having a usb drive plugged in is you can do time shifting so i say oh what did she just say i didn't hear that i can actually rewind so let's go back and there you go play from what she said before so having a usb drive plugged in is very very useful you can also say oh i want to pause it pause live tv i'll go and make a coffee then when i come back play pretty cool huh now of course you do need a usb stick plugged in to do that another thing we can do when the usb drive is plugged in is record so there you go initializing recorder and now it's recording my tv show so i can watch that back later that is a very useful feature so if we go back into the drive we can see gma etc let's open gma and there you go we're watching back a tv show that we recorded earlier i can do the same thing with etc and we're now watching a show that we recorded earlier very very cool okay i don't know if you can hear in the background but it started raining so i think i'm going to wrap this video up that is the baron digital tv receiver like i said i did borrow this from them but i'm planning to give it back i've actually ripped this open connected some serial cables to my computer and i was able to sniff a lot of information out about this box so if you have any technical questions i actually have a lot of answers i would say it's pretty good it's a useful box especially the wi-fi feature being able to stream youtube the only thing is sometimes the youtube streaming isn't that smooth i don't know if it's my internet or if it's the box but sometimes it keeps buffering which is kind of annoying it could be my internet being able to record and time shift live tv that's very very useful would i use this myself well honestly i don't watch tv anymore i only watch youtube and some netflix but i know a lot of people out there they're still watching local tv they're still watching regular analog tv so definitely they might want to check this out if you have any questions just put them in the comment section thanks for watching